Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joe. I wanted to bring you a short video because I'm kind of excited. I, um, you know, I'm building the 1966 Batmobile, the uh, build your own R2-D2. I just posted a video of that uh, two days ago. Um, you can check that out. But I'm also building the, the Iron Man from Marvel. And I'm also building the 1970 Dodge Charger reason why I'm excited is because three of those four subscriptions I uh, I got in one day. And one of them was this box right here. Just give me a second, lay it down. It looks like this. I got this box. And it's a, as you can see, it's a pretty huge box compared to this one. I'm pretty sure I know this is the Iron Man. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is the uh, more parts for the 1970 Dodge Charger. Uh, I'm really excited what could be in such a big box. I'm that it might be, I'm guessing or hoping that it'll be the body for this charger. Here I have the uh, chassis, chassis in three pieces. I got the engine and the engine bay underneath. We put together all the exhaust system. If you look real closely, you can see the very detail. It has calipers that I put together, like hundreds and hundreds of pieces to put this model together. And it's uh, pretty heavy because it's all mostly metal. So I'm going to clean up my desk here and let's open this up. You want to care to guess with me? Uh, like, what do you think is in here? Uh, I'm hoping, like I said, it's the uh, the body that attaches to the chassis here. But let's see. Okay, I have my razor. I have the box on the table. It's so big, I can't really back up my camera anymore because this box is so big. But uh, let's cut it open and see what's inside. If you guys want to build the model yourself, go to fanhome.com and sign up and we have our uh, the <clears throat> the 1970 Dodge Charger I have it set up on uh, 10 issues a month and, uh, and um, it's completed in 100 issues so right now this is a uh, issue oh this is Iron Man I'm sorry it says right here so we got issue 66 through 74 for the Iron Man. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting uh, this such a huge box to be uh, the big body panels and stuff for um, the, the Dodge Charger. So let me lay this out real quick. Have the helmet, both arms and both legs completed. So all that's left is the torso. So here we go, lay your model on is humongous. There's another piece for the base. Issue 70, 68, 74, 67. Oh, this is heavy. These are metal pieces here. 73. Wow, that's heavy too. Look, it's the chest armor. Oh my god, you can feel the weight on that. 72. And this last one also looks like it's part of the base. 71. And then, of course, it comes with issues. All your magazines. This is what the... Uh, base looks like. We can see how big it is that you display your Iron Man on. Here are the legs. See the legs? You display your Iron Man. All right, I'm going to set up and we'll come back and start building. Okay, we are back. We are up to issue 66 of building the Iron Man. Here in issue 66, we have a lot of info. Friends reunite. The trio is back. Looks like a Captain America Iron Man. I've got info on Iron Man, 
and then the instructions and then some more info in the back artificial intelligence so let's get started my uh, first pack with my iron man build i ha i get uh nine issues a month the 1970 dodge charger you get 10 issues a month with the uh, r2d2 you get five issues a month all right so first up we have this shell and we're going to be installing um, the spring onto what is this the uh, spring support let's get some screws ready so we're going to take the spring goes on here wow how are you going to do that I tried this way. All right, that was really scary. You can see that we had to put this spring on this little post and then it fit inside of a slot on this bracket on this plate here. Then hold this down while screwing these in. The spring shot out onto the floor and I just spent five minutes on my hands and knees looking for it. So let's tighten these up. And then, so it looks like this is a locking arm and it's the spring. It, when you, it looks like you attach something to it and then it spring locks it in place. And then to release it, you push this in and release it. Alrighty, so that's it for this stage. We'll move on to 67. All right, next up in uh, issue 67, it looks like this. There's the uh, magazine again. There's a lot of nice stories. Looks like the Iron Man in Trenzia. Is that where he made his Iron Man costume? Or armor. And Bethany Cave, the lady. <clears throat> and Iron Man. All right, let's get into it. We are working on the pelvis. We'll be coming back to the last issue. We'll be attaching the pelvis arm to um, this pelvis um, support. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to install it with these long screws. We'll have to screw it in the entire way. A lot of tricky little pieces here. started should just slide in and then and then tighten at the other end shouldn't have to screw it through this whole part to get to the other side it's kind of strange <coughs> I guess they just didn't bore the holes out large enough but then I guess they think they did that for a region so that way they're not too large there we have a nice snug fit okay so now we take the piece from um, the last stage and it attaches here same size screw we're going to use the OP screw it's going to go on here get that started screw it in all right so now we take this piece the pelvis armor now we're going to attach it in the shell there's a little slot goes in if you could get this lined up without moving long enough to get a screw in there screw it like that get that started get the other one going there we go all righty looks like we got it without too much difficulty there's a lot you didn't see off camera so the pelvis armor
goes like that. Protects him there. I guess it goes up and down like that. So when he moves his legs, that moves out of the way. Okay, we're going to repeat the process for the left side. Get it close to the end. So this is lined up. So it goes through both. Goes through both um, holes. Very nice and snug. And we are going to connect this as well. So like this, and then this piece is like this. I'm gonna move this around so I can access it better. All right, finishing up that. Now this piece, it goes on here. This time, like that, like this first. All right, y'all, that was, a little bit difficult. I got it sorted out. Get these started. Attaching this uh, the pelvis joint to the uh, pelvis armor to the support here frame. Or what are they calling it? And that does it for this stage. This is a uh, 60, 67. So there you go. You have your pelvis armor. All right, we're up to issue 68. It looks like this. Nice picture of Iron Man there. Starts off with the story, Ultimatum, Death and Destruction. And tells you about the Ultimatum. Looks like an Ultimatum series down there. And then we get into the Mark III armor again. With this time, we're working on the right hip. The right hip also has an armor, which is articulating. And we're just going to prepare it for when it gets installed. Okay, so what we do first. We take this piece, which they are calling the support bay, and use a BP screw. This looks identical, no odd shape, so it could go on anyway. It has two guide posts that fit into the two outer holes. And then we secure it down the center with a BP screw. And then next up, we have the right swinging so it looks like this we have the base we have the hip armor like this and we install it like so and we use a another one of those long op screws again and installs from this side if i can get this going here like this get that started and then run it down just like that and that completes issue 68. <clears throat> so let's move right into 69. Starts off like this. Iron Man looks beat up a little bit. Discover the history of Iron Man. Stark, resilient, start over. That's a little story about that. He's working with a war machine. And we get into it. So now we have the left hip. We install the base. Secure it with a BP screw. Right down the center. I've been noticing with these Iron Man's, um, this Iron Man model, if you screw too hard, like it has softer plastic, so be careful. I've stripped out quite a few uh, screws already. I have to go back and like glue it or something um, because some of the other models, it's just a uh, better plastic material. But this Iron Man one, it's really soft and I notice a lot of stripping out. So now we go in from this side for the left hip, so like this. These longer screws are heavier and the magnetic doesn't really hold magnetically. So we have to try something different, I like this. And then again, get that in the hole started. Get a couple turns and then I'll hold it in place. There we go. And then we line up our uh, swinging and drive the screw home. So I can get close to the end, slow down, and just snug it. Like I said, Iron Man's been a, a little bit uh, temperamental. So there you have it. That's issue 69.